Good morning. And this morning, I've got a quick one for you talking about how to set up DTS Headphone X for headphones, surprisingly enough. And for those of you who don't know, DTS Headphone X is similar to Dolby Atmos for headphones or Windows Sonic. Now, I'll show you what I mean. If I go into settings and I go down to volume and audio output, you'll see at the moment I've got Dolby Atmos for headphones set up. And I've made a video talking about how to set up Dolby Atmos for headphones. So if you're interested in that, you can check that out. There's a, a link to it in the top right hand corner at the moment. And you can click on that and go into that. But for now, we're talk talking about DTS Headphone X. The other one, as I say, is Windows Sonic for headphones. So you've got those two options. But once we finished setting this up, we'll also have DTS Headphone X. It's showing there at the moment, but it won't work because I actually deleted it so that I could show you how to set it up. So let's just go back out of settings for a moment. And what you want to do first is you want to go into the store. So let's load that up and then do search and DTS. And it should bring up the DTS Unbound app. As you can see, <laughs> put that in twice if we go into that. DTS Unbound app. And as you can see, it's showing there. And it says install. Now, obviously, you're going to need to uh, get it and install it before you can do anything with it. So let's just do that now. And it doesn't take very long to install. I seem to remember it came down really rapidly for me before. And as you can see there, it says offers in-app purchases. And that's because you're going to have to buy this if you want to use it. But... Um, there is a, a, I think it's a 14 day trial, but we'll get to that in a minute. So it's now downloaded. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to launch it. And it brings up this. It says, you can see in the corner at the moment, it's uh, loading it up. First thing you'll see is it will ask you for an end, uh, excuse me, end user license agreement and pr privacy policy. And you have to accept those before you can move on. So let's just accept those two and then accept. And as you can see here, you've got various options, but it says here, DTS Headphone X, it's 1674, or you can try it for 14 days. So that'll be up to you, whether you wanna try it for 14 days or whether you wanna pay for it straight away. I'm gonna go in and I'm actually gonna just try the 14 days. Let's go over to there. Try 14 days for free. And it should load that up. We just wait for that to load. And it says here, DTS has headphone X trial free. By selecting get, you agree to the store terms of sale. So I'm going to select get. And doesn't seem to be doing much. Ah, there you go. It's starting to load up now. And there you go. It says DTS Sound Unbound. Thanks for installing DTS Headphone X and so on and so forth. Please be sure to plug in compatible headphones into your controller or USB port. Uh, if you want to change your spatial sound settings, you can do so in the volume and audio output settings menu, which we were looking at right at the beginning of this video, but we'll go back there in a minute. It says confused please visit our support pages for more information. So uh, let's just select let's go. And it brings us to this page here. Now, as you can see, there's various options here. It says DTS headphone X, configure headphones, explore spatial sound. DTS headphone X has been tuned to over 500 headphones. Select your exact model, or if you're not sure, select the headphone type you're using. So if we go down here, you can see there's two headphone types. We've got generic earbuds, or we've got generic over-ear headphones. Now, if we go to the three little dots here, you can then type in your headphones. So if we put in Bose 
and uh, it brings you up a list of Bose headphones so you can go through. I've actually got some QC25 so I could select those or if I wanted to I could go into Sennheiser I can type it Sennheiser and then it gives you a list of Sennheiser headphones so you could go through HD 650s I've got a pair of those so I could select those so uh, let's just go back to generic for the time being so there's that you can select your headphones and it will give you a tuning to your particular headphones ideally I would hope <laughs> you can go in and type all this in and get a generic wouldn't be very useful but um, no according to DTS they have actually tuned it to all these headphones so you should get a particular setup for those headphones so you should get the best setting that is available and then if we go down we've got spatial mode do you like more immersive immersive <laughs> do you like more immersive sound or more balanced audio uh, select your spatial mode to find out so uh, if we click on that we've got balanced and we've got spatial so you can choose or spacious so you can choose those if we just go back up to the top for a minute, if we click on home, it brings us to this screen. Now, these options here, DTS, DTS Headphone X, it tells you what your license is and all the rest of it. And then underneath here, we've got gaming, immersive over headphones and decoder. Now, if you click on these, it'll take you out to a web page and give you some information. So I'm not going to do that now. But uh, let's just go back up to the top if I click on DTS again and wait for it to load because this uh, app can be a bit slow loading at times. If we go into settings again and we're, we're back to where we were before and then over on the top far right we've got the three little lines. We've got app information. We can go in there. As you can see it says uh, app information. We exist to make the world sound better. We imagine a world, blah, 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 and more blurb. <laughs> and you can actually go to www.dts.com and then redeem code. That'll take you into the store and allow you to redeem a code. So if you bought some headphones and it had this app in the headphones, you could put in the code for the, for the app and maybe get them free or at least <laughs> as part of the cost of your headphones. Refresh your license. Keep me informed. That takes you to a web page as well, I believe. Privacy policy, license agreement and support. They all take you out of the app. So I'm not going to do that here. So that's pretty much it. If I go into DTS again and go down to my settings. We've got the option here still to buy. You've got video here that <laughs> DTS headphone X is not active. Please enable it in the Xbox audio output settings menu. So uh, that's not in here. This is a bit like Dolby Atmos. You don't actually set those in, in the app itself. You have to go into the settings and we'll do that in, an, in a moment. That's settings within the Xbox itself. So I'm going to click on settings here and it gives you these. And then if we hit the Xbox button, it'll take us to home. Oh, actually, I'm going to go down to settings. And if you look here, we're in general and we go along and down to the bottom to volume and audio output. And as you can see at the moment under headset audio, I've currently got it set to Dolby Atmos for headphones. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the arrow. And as you can see here, we've got stereo and compressed Windows Sonic for headphones, Dolby Atmos for headphones and DTS headphones X. Now, if I select that now, it should enable it. And as you can see, it's enabled it. So it should be all up and running and working now. I'm just going to go out of here again and back into the app briefly. And if we go and wait for it to load up again, it takes all day. Ah, there you go. Nope, still loading. I don't know what it is about this app whether it's on my particular Xbox, but it can be a bit flaky. Still loading. It'll load in a minute. Ah, there you go. It's loaded. Nope. Still taking its time. OK, 
Come on. There you go. If we hit DTS again, and if you look here, it says DTS just under where the video is. If we look across here where the video is, underneath that, it says DTS Headphone X is selected. Enjoy. So it's showing that it's all set up and running now. And uh, just to prove the point, I'll go back in again to settings. And it's showing DTS Headphone X in there as well. So we're all set up. It's all up and running, apart from that bloody app, which is a bit slow and a bit clunky. But uh, yeah, it's all working. And I'm not going to review it here. That was just a, a taster on how to get it set up. But uh, I may have a look into it a bit more. And uh, if you're interested in that, let me know. And maybe I'll talk about my findings and how I've enjoyed using it and whether it's better than Dolby or whether it's better than Windows Sonic or <laughs> just using the stereo uncompressed. But uh, yeah, for now, I'm done. And I'm going to go and grab myself a cup of tea. And I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Bye.